Hi, everybody. It's Miss Cole, and today I get to uh, share something that I'm really excited about. This is going to be the first in a new video series in which I share student work with you. These will hopefully be pieces that surprised me or impressed me. And by surprised, I mean in a good way, um, or impressed me, or just things that made me smile. And I got the idea from actually reading a piece of student work and thinking, you know, I really, I want this to go beyond just me and the student. So I guess without further ado, here it is. The assignment was to write a persuasive email. And the example given for the assignment was um, about why cell phones should be used in class. The student chose not to write about that topic. Instead, this is what I received. Subject, earning of grades. Dear Ms. Cole, the way grades are earned in schools today is absolutely preposterous. Grades are dependent upon one-dimensional rubrics that outline a perfect format to follow, and this ignores the fact that all students' intelligence comes across in different ways. There is no creativity involved in memorizing a format and simply spitting out your own subject within that format. Grades should be based on a format for some students, but it is important to notice creativity and humor as forms of engagement and intelligence. This is why you need to give me 101% on this project. It is imperative that you acknowledge my out-of-the-box thinking that has taken the form of completely unironic calls to action. The only chance the American education system has for reform and improvement depends on you taking the first step. This 101% will be the start of a better me, a better you, a better education system, and in a very real sense, it will be the start of a better country, world, universe, and existence as a whole. Some might say that this approach is ineffective because it rewards disobedience or encourages students to take projects less seriously. This is, however, not the case. Engagement is necessary for learning, and students often find it difficult to become engaged. When engagement is found in a creative way, it encourages more effort and shows students how not to disobey, but how to obey in a constructive and engaging way that encourages effort. This is why you need to give me a 101% on this project. The entire education system depends on you. Your impact matters. Non-ironically, student name. <clears throat> so we have the opportunity to provide feedback, and so I did. My note was, Great use of parallelism, emotional appeal, and a strong call to action at the end. Alas, as it happens, the classroom teacher is not the sole arbiter of the structure of the educational system. Creativity and humor certainly have their place in education, and yet they are not the only skills that students are expected to develop. Elected leaders in our society have determined which standards will be assigned to each accredited course in public schools, and thus those are the skills that teachers are required to evaluate. It is not the teacher, but the citizen, who has the opportunity to make a difference by connecting with others and pushing the grassroots level for comprehensive change, not just to our educational system, but to a societal system that values numerical ranking, memorization, and obedience over curiosity, humor, creativity, and stretching boundaries. Not ironically, student name, the future of our entire society depends on you. Sincerely, Ms. Cole. So, uh, I'm going to probably send the link to this video to that student. Um, I really enjoyed reading that. It made me smile. And bonus, it, uh, <laughs> it fulfilled the requirements of the assignment. So student did not get a 101% on that, as there was no opportunity within the assignment for bonus credit. But student did get a 100, which was the highest grade possible. So congratulations, student. You know who you are. And uh, other students? Strive to do your best, but remember to take the time for creativity and humor. Bye for now. Oops, let's try that in a hand that we can see.
Bye for now, everybody.